community see this. So, um, okay, great, great. So now you guys can see me on in my community, which is great. All right, I'm sure you can hear me and everything because I see the test, right? So anyway, I am going to, after I steamed my hair last night, you remember, Debbie, I said I was going to steam my hair. I finally did last night. And so, you know, I sleep, uh, I slept in my towel cap, right? And that is, uh, after I steamed it, I just put it up and I slept in my towel cap and, um, and it absorbed, you know, some of the moisture. Hey, Nina, how are you? it absorbs some of the moisture in my hair. So I am going to re-moisturize my hair now. And then I'm going to try to put it in a little style, just something I can wear because I have meetings to go to, right? And I know um, to not go to, but to be on virtually. And, um, and I can't wear rollers, right? Can't wear rollers. So I'm going to attempt to do this particular style. It's a cute style that I saw and I'm not one that really wear my hair swooped over, right? But I'm going to try it today and uh, put it in a ponytail and pin it up. And um, so I'm going to try that. So I'm using my uh, argan oil, my argan uh, 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 conditioner to re-moisturize. You all see that in the community. It's so bright. The sun, there you go. There you go. The sun is so bright. Right, and then this is the spray. I'm going to kind of re-moisturize with the spray, with the Argan spray, and then this is my own personal bottle. But this is um, this is uh, Argan oil, right? And um, and so then I shampooed last night with Argan oil, and then for the for the uh, the treatment, the the um, steaming treatment, I always like to drizzle some of the peppermint oil in there because it's so tingly and and uh and everything but you know you can use any one of the oils so sometime i'll use the argan oil and then sometime i'll use the castor oil it just depends on what i want to use right <laughs> and so what i'm going to do first is i'm just going to re-spray my hair just even though my hair is a little damp just going to spray it a little bit just to kind of um uh, you know, re-moisturize the, especially the top part, because um, that's the part that, um, you know, that was absorbed under the towel cap. Just a little bit, because my hair, like I said, is still damp. And um, so I'm just doing this a little bit here. And then, and I always make sure that I give some attention to my edges. And then I will take just a little bit of this oil, right? Just a little bit of the oil. Well, first, let me first let me do the conditioner first. So I like to put just a little dollop of the conditioner around the edges of my head like this, right? And just kind of rub it in a little bit because you know, like I said, the towel cap is up against up against um, my hair, and it kind of dries it out just a little bit you know, overnight. And then I just put it under the, under the nape of my hair, on the nape of my hair and rub it in. Right now, y'all see all these mosquito bites. I am just done. I tell you, if anybody know, look at all these mosquito bites. I was out last this morning, uh, yesterday, um, in my backyard, you know, doing some, I was making some tea lamps, you know, or for mosquitoes, but I spray that I also made that's supposed to be good for uh, mosquito bites. I'm down because I have short sleeve top on, and I tell you, I wake up this morning and got all these these bites on my arm. I'm I'm just like done. Do anybody know how I'm in the great state of Mississippi, right? And uh. And we have a swimming pool too in our backyard. And maybe I know that probably attracts <laughs> attracts mosquitoes. You know, water attracts mosquitoes. And um, so, but I that's why I was out there making them tiki lamps. But there should be a way for you know to ward off these these mosquitoes. They get on my nerve, right? 
So if you know any good solution, um, you know, that I can put on or that I can do, I heard that zinc is also good to ward off when you, when you take zinc. I mean, I have zinc in my herbs. Maybe it's just not enough. So, um, but anyway, if you all know a trick that I can do to ward off these mosquitoes, that would be so helpful. So anyway, so you see, I, I remorse, but already my hair feels so much better. Uh, even though it's already, it was already damp. Now it's soft, right? It's more soft and pliable, right? I don't, and I, sometimes, you know, you can basically see it before your eyes, how, first of all, my hair was kind of wiry, right? And then, um, it just started laying down, you know, and really now it's just, it's just moist, right? It's not just damp, it's moist, you know, because I fed it. <laughs> I fed it, you know, the, the, the hair food is what I call it, right? And so um, you want to be gentle when you're combing out your sister locks um, because it's vulnerable. And, you know, uh, we just finished our five-day steaming your sister locks uh, challenge. And Debbie is one, was one of my students. In fact, we met right here on uh, on Instagram, Debbie was here and she saw me going live and she came into the world of beautiful hair products. And now she's a member of the beautiful locks club. And she went through the, uh, five day steaming your sister locks challenge. And after the challenge, we have an immersion experience and she's in that too. So she is serious. It is so, so good to have someone that's serious about their hair because I'm real serious about my hair. And she has just been a, a jewel, right, Debbie? <laughs> and um, and so, um, so we're excited. So we're going to have our, our immersion experience on this Sunday. And it's going to be all the way live. So anyway um so i am going to now so now that my hair is moisture moisturized it's literally moisturized y'all it's not just damp it's literally moist right um i'm going to attempt to do this particular style and like i said i'm not a good stylist i just know how to take care of the hair but in terms of styles i pretty much wear my hair the same um you know, I like headbands. Um, I can't even wear ponytails long because I don't like any tension. <laughs> You're welcome, Debbie. <laughs> I can't have any tension um, on my edges. I don't want, you know, y'all see all this hair I have around my edges, right? I don't want to break my edges. So I don't wear styles that, um, that really pull on my hair. So I am going to attempt this style. So I think um, I'm going to, let's see, just for this purpose, I am going to, um, and y'all know about my hairline, right? I have, this is like baby hair right here. And, um, and so, but if my hair was that straighter textured hair, then, you know, it'd be all swooped and, and, you know, straight, but I have, you know, uh, kink, uh, four C hair. And so, I'm doing the best I can with these little curls, right? And so I am going to attempt, and so I have to part, part it way over like a comb over, right? <laughs> it's like a how, you know how the men are bald and uh, it's like a comb over. And so that's what I have to do. So I'm going to attempt to do this particular style that I showed my ladies in the community. Uh, this girl did, she had uh, like the swoop she has swooped her hair over to the side and um and like i said i don't i don't really um you know do the swoop style but we're gonna try it this morning right so um so then she just took it's a simple elegant style then she just took the back of her hair right and she had that up in a ponytail right and 
she just pretty much gathered her hair up in a ponytail right and then she divided the ponytail so that she can make little individual stacks and then pinned it up debbie you remember this we show i showed you this on pinterest right so this is a quick go-to style that i'm trying to adopt here uh in lieu of me curling my hair right now because i have a meeting later and um you know i have these rings on i really shouldn't have these rings on because i don't want to you know tear my hair um i'm trying to be real careful not to tear my hair with these rings and so sometime i will take them off or i'll turn them inside inside like this right and whew, oh that's a workout <laughs> that is a workout so you just want to make sure your hair is all combed out right just finger comb it out and then i'm going to take this rubber band here this this band here make sure you don't tear your hair out take this and put it in a ponytail here you know Ugh. just put it in a ponytail like this right make sure you get all your hair out of there <sighs> boy that's a workout right so that's the ponytail here's my little swoop <laughs> and so then i am going to attempt so i need to kind of brush it to the front some and oh man i forgot my other my other so 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 um well anyway let me just stay focused on this so i'm going to uh, just take this and um kind of swoop now see i usually would have another uh lilla rose pin right here now what did she do she did she did something like she that's right she uh she did like a flat twist that's what she did she did like a flat twist so i'm going to do the same right here and her hair probably was just a little longer in the front my hair tend to not grow that fast uh, i don't know if i'm gonna like this okay here well that's kind of cute um anyway let's see yeah i need okay and then i'm gonna pin this up so i'm gonna pin this and then add it See, I, I need my other Lilla Rose um, pin. Okay, so anyway, here's some, some uh, hair pins. You guys remember these old school hair pins? And so I'm gonna just stick that in here like this and pin it and, um, and then try to add it. I forgot my other, so when I, I keep talking about Lilla Rose, these are Lilla Rose hair clips. You remember me telling you about these? Um, I have some real tiny ones that would have looked better right here. I don't have time to run back into my room and get it. So, um, but normally I would have a little one like right here. And, um, but anyway, I'm going to just use this here and I'm going to just try to stick this hair, <laughs> stick the ends of this hair under this hair. And then when I pin the, the, the um, ponytail, it will yeah it will cover it okay so that's that i have that pinned up like that now i'm going to take this ponytail oh did i miss okay i'm going to take this ponytail i'm gonna stick that hair in here like this i'll probably go back and make it neater but i'm gonna take this ponytail right and um and just divide it up in a few sections and then pin, I'm going to make some twists, right? And, um, oh, I got to make sure that I don't pull my hair, right? Because see, when your hair is damp, it's very vulnerable. Remember? That's very, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Deborah. Um, so let's see. I'm going to twist these ends like this, right? And 
and uh, and then pin it pin it into the ponytail, right? So let me, oh, I need to put, uh, need to put some, for me, I need to put some, some uh, rubber bands on the ends so that this ponytail, so that these twists won't come down. So I'll just take, you know, a little rubber band like this and uh, make sure that this ponytail don't come down. Now, where did the ponytail rubber band go? Okay, here we go. Okay, so just put it around there a couple of times like that. Okay, so that's one ponytail. And then I'm going to do another one real quick, right? I probably have three more to do. Make sure that this ponytail is, is combed out, so to speak, because, um, you know, you don't want your hair to be all knotted up in the ponytail. So I'm just doing it like this right and putting this pony this up uh, this uh rubber band on the end like this then i got about another three ponytails left to do like this here's another one here just kind of finger comb it out like this you're getting the idea certainly it would be neater if I, you know, wasn't rushing and trying not to hold y'all all day, right? <laughs> trying not to hold you all day. So then I'll take this here and put this on here like this, just to hold it. And then I need probably two more rubber bands. Okay, like this. Like this. I got one more ponytail. One more ponytail after this. Okay. All right, one more. And then we're going to see what we're going to do with this. So here's the last ponytail. I hope I got all the straggle ones. <laughs> and um, here we go like this. Okay. All right, here's the last one. Okay, so now we have all the ponytails. Can y'all see those ponytails, right? So now what I'm going to do is I am going to flip these ponytails up and take these pins and pin it up. So let's see here. Um, pin it up over the ponytail, the, the big ponytail that I have, right? So here's one. Here's two. Right, right, so it's forming like a loop. And then here is, let me turn this way now. Ugh. I don't have one of those chairs that you can, okay, so then here, so now I can kind of pretty much add this ponytail to that end there and pin it up like so. And I have two more, so let me, can y'all see? Okay, and then like this, right? And then I have one more, one more right here to pin up like this. Like that, okay? Well, oh, I think I, okay. So here is how the ponytail look. Right, so here's how it looks, just up like that. And I'm telling you some some cute, uh, this one is kind of hang. Let me pin this one here up. I'm gonna pin this one up, just bring it up a little bit. 
right and then just put a pin because i think my hair is just a little longer than the girl on the video right so i'm gonna pin this one up and then you can see these so you just tuck in those ends tuck in the ends well i think this is in the way okay now it's a better view oh wow that did come out okay see so like that right that did come out kind of cute right <laughs> so let me turn around to the back so now what i would do uh for this part this part here i don't know if it would look good or not but i would probably put a uh, hair uh a little rose clip right here i don't know if that would look good or elegant it depends on the kind that i would use so i'm just giving you an idea of what you can do <laughs> what you can do and then you can just put a a, a hair pin a hair clip like this to kind of decorate it some right see how that looks i can't see the back right now so i'm hoping it looks okay and that's a quick a quick little style it's a, like an option right it's an option <laughs> so let me uh my cushion here in my chair so that's just an optional style then certainly i would throw some bigger earrings on and then you know i'll have my little makeup on and everything so hopefully you like that style debbie okay great <laughs> it's now that i know your hair would really look cute uh like this so maybe we can go over this in the um immersion we're gonna definitely do some styles that you would like right so this is one style here that um you know so normally you know the swoop would be just a little further down my forehead and all that but um anyway you get the idea right you get the idea and um i just want to come on here real quick and share that it's important to re-moisturize your hair after you do your sting treatment especially if you sleep in your towel cap because the towel cap kind of absorbs some of the oil and the moisturization that you put on when you steam. And so simply re-moisturize re with your products, right? And just lightly and, um, and, re and moisturizing is different than just being damp, right? So my hair was damp, but it was still kind of wiry a little bit. And um, I wanted to have it moist and soft right so soon as i put my conditioner and my spray in my hair just kind of like oh it just kind of relaxed right and so that's what you want to you want to have relaxed hair soft hair manageable hair not dry uh crunchy hair because that um will you know eventually your hair will start pulling out and and you don't want that you want you want to keep what you have right and you want to be you want it to be manageable. And so that's just what I want to share with you this morning, a quick little style and re-moisturizing after, um, after you, you know, um, after you steam your hair. So that's what I have to share. Y'all know what time it is. It's time for me and my mom to go walking. And so we're getting ready to go walking, taking care of this body, right? Because hair health comes, start from the inside out. And so you have to eat right, you have to exercise, and you have to drink right, right? I drink lots and lots of water. I always have my water jugs with me um, so that I can re-moisturize my body, which affects the health of your hair. And so that's what I wanted to share with you, Debbie. Thank you so much for being so helpful to me. Oh my goodness, you helped me out a lot. I didn't want to just waste YouTube's time. So I'm just going to upload this video onto YouTube from our community. Our community is absolutely wonderful. And um, it's such a pleasure to serve you all. Um, and it's, the, it's my passion. It's the thing that I love to do. Okay, so Debbie, you have a great day the rest of the day. And, um, and I will be seeing you. I'll talk to you 
a little bit later on to, you know, get you going and get you prepared for our Sunday immersion experience. All right. I'm so excited. All right. Y'all have a good day. Okay. Talk to you soon. Bye. Let me. <laughs>